literally around this time, I was like, all right, we finna get this YouTube stuff together and we gonna be monetized by the end of the year. So we are approaching the end of the year. We are in fourth quarter. I got about, what, two months left in the year to get monetized and it is going to happen because I claimed it last year and it's gonna happen because I just feel like I'm in the neighborhood. I'm in the vibration. It is so close and that is how you have to be about anything that you truly want you have to believe that it's actually going to happen and you have to get in the feeling get in the emotion get in the vibration because the blessing is in the neighborhood and you have to be ready to receive it hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Sierra, and here on my channel we are all about creating a life you love so with that being said we're gonna hop into today's video so today we are doing a very fun video for me today we're talking about how i took my youtube channel from a very stuck and stagnated place to a place where i just honestly manifested true growth and community here on my channel and I'm literally so proud of myself y'all so today we're going to be doing a how YouTube kind of changed my life video you guys have probably seen these videos here on YouTube and I do think it is important to hear like different perspectives of YouTube because some people get on YouTube and take off and then some people start a YouTube and get discouraged some people are just in the beginning of their YouTube journey and don't really know like what is the purpose of me doing this some people want to start a YouTube channel but don't really know like where to start or what to do or what's the purpose or how can it actually benefit them so today I'm going to be talking through my journey how it has changed my life some of the things that I feel like it has helped me do and just honestly some skills that I've learned from this whole experience because honestly starting a YouTube channel will completely change your life especially if it's something that you truly in your heart want to do or you have some interest in doing it I highly suggest that you stay tuned for this video today I do think I'm going to be dropping some great gems for you so let's go ahead and hop into the video All right, so first things first, let me just tell you how my YouTube journey actually started. I am 29, so I feel like I'm an OG like YouTube watcher. Um, I used to watch Jalen Corian, Raven Elise, Ashley D. Beauty, Vicky Logan. And the thing about when I was watching these YouTubers, I was in college at the same time that they were in college. And I just thought it was such a like cool experience to see them like living their life on campus, even though I felt like their lives look way different than mine. But it was just like cool to live like vicariously through them. And honestly, I felt like I was a little bit obsessed. Like me and my friends would be like, did you see Jalen Vlog? Oh, my God. Did you see Jalen Vlog? and then talking about like her relationship with like Dom and stuff so it, it's just so funny to kind of like think back and like just see the how these people on YouTube have changed and grown like throughout the years so I think I had became a little bit obsessive like with them um, and this was before people were calling them like influencers they were just YouTubers so I was telling my fiance um well he's my boyfriend at the time I was like oh my god like I was watching somebody video and I'm like, this is so cool. And he's like, you can totally do this. And I'm like, me? Where? How? Like, I was just at a place where I'm like, my life is not interesting enough for me to just be out here filming videos. Um, and I don't think that that's how you should approach YouTube anyway, like, like with a negative attitude, thinking that you're boring and you don't have anything to offer because honestly, we all have something to offer. So if it's something that you're thinking about doing, honestly, just start. Like you can figure out the the when and why later, but just get started. Okay. So I do feel like I have a unique kind of experience here with YouTube. I feel like when I see these videos um, and I just feel like just in social media in general, people blow up so much faster than they used to do like back in the day. And I'm kind of embarrassed to say this, but at the same time, I do feel like I've learned so many lessons throughout the years. But I started my YouTube channel in like December 2018. So like I've been on the platform for a very long time and I'm just now actually seeing the growth. I am very close to being monetized right now let me just give you guys a quick snapshot of where I am today when I'm filming this video hopefully when I get this video published I will be you know in a better place but today I'm sitting at 901 subscribers oh my gosh and then um as far as watch hours so for the past 365 days I have 2,968 
watch hours. Now, in order to be monetized on YouTube, they do have a smaller threshold now of 500 subscribers and 3,000 watch hours. So I'm super close to being monetized in that aspect. But as far as like the big uh, monetization that most people like strive for, that one is 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. So essentially, I'm about 1,000 hours away and about less than 100 subscribers away. So I'm literally so close. I can literally feel it. So like that old me, my inner, not even really inner child, like my inner young 20 year old self, like I'm proud of myself. Like I am, I am this close to being monetized. And honestly, if you're a person, I feel like you can do this way quicker than I, I did, but I'm going to give you guys some, you know, some tips and tricks that'll help you along the way that I feel like is very important to know. Um, and I feel like it's stuff that I feel like I didn't know to a certain extent. So I just feel like when I started my channel, I didn't really have any direction of where I was going. I was just trying to like post vlogs. And the thing is when you post vlogs, you have to have like some sort of value to add to those vlogs. So right now, some vlogs that do really good are like productivity vlogs. So people teaching people how to do stuff, people cleaning up or people talking about an experience or like grocery shopping, like stuff people want to see. So if you want to actually start vlogging, vlog stuff that people are actually interested in seeing. I think I was just vlogging like, oh yeah, I'm going to Target. And obviously people like to go to Target and stuff like that, but it needed to add like some more of a value with it. It was just like, my channel was just kind of like all over the place. But last year, literally around this time, I was like, all right, we finna get this YouTube stuff together and we gonna be monetized by the end of the year. So we are approaching the end of the year. We are in fourth quarter. I got about, what, two months left in the year to get monetized and it is going to happen because I claimed it last year and it's gonna happen because I just feel like I'm in the neighborhood. I'm in the vibration. It is so close and that is how you have to be about anything that you truly want. You have to believe that it's actually gonna happen and you have to get in the feeling, get in the emotion, get in the vibration because the blessing is in the neighborhood and you have to be ready to receive it. So I told myself this is gonna happen, so it's gonna happen. So that was my turning point. So some key lessons that I actually learned along the way, and honestly, this one isn't gonna come as a surprise to anyone, but consistency is key. If you follow anybody and you're looking for YouTube advice, they're going to tell you to be consistent. But like, what does consistency look like to you? And the thing is, if you're not consistent in other parts of your life, being consistent on YouTube might actually be hard. If you can't keep a promise to yourself about drinking a gallon of water every day, how can you keep a promise to yourself about like posting a video every day or posting a video every week? So that is the key. Like once I figured out, you know, what was consistent and good for me, so posting regularly, I actually started to see the growth. And honestly, the more I started to post regularly, I started to build up that community and people were actually looking forward to my videos. So it's no secret, it's no surprise, you have to be consistent for this to work. If I could start this journey all over again, start over from scratch, something that I would do differently is I would figure out what I'm actually passionate about and start posting about it consistently. The thing is, I was just kind of like all over the place, but once I figured out what Sierra wanted, what Sierra liked, what Sierra wanted to actually talk about and not just like following like, you know, trends or following what other people are talking about because it's easy to get on social media and get inspiration from other people, but you have to be able to talk about something that you like and you want to talk about to sustain it because you can get up here and copy somebody's videos week by week by week, but if you don't really know what you're talking about, if you don't like what you're talking about, it's going to be hard to actually stick to that. And honestly, I feel like in my situation, I feel like God was literally just waiting on me to stop holding back and just start doing it. I feel like I always had some bit of resistance in my body when it came to YouTube. It was like, I'll start and then I'll stop. I'll start and then I'll stop. So it was like, once I figured out like, look, we're just gonna do it, whether it's good or whether it's bad. Like sometimes even though the videos that you're so afraid to post, those videos are probably gonna be the videos that actually take off. And so some personal milestones that I had throughout my life, videos I made about that did 
amazing. So my weight loss journey video, um, where I talked about like losing 56 pounds and sharing authentically about that experience, it boosted my engagement and my subscribers so much. Um, I also talked about me moving from Detroit, Michigan to Dallas, Texas, which so many viewers like resonated with. That is one of the top pieces of content on my channel. And the thing is, a lot of people live vicariously through people online or get inspired from people online. Shoot, I actually used to watch um, this girl, Amani Collins, like years ago, and she moved to Dallas. And then it got to a point where I'm like, I think I can do that too. And I did it. And it was like, okay, girl, like, it's not that deep, but if you see somebody else going after the things that you want and they can do it, like you can do that shit too. I'm actually trying to stop cussing because my grandmother watches my YouTube channels. So forgive me, Nene. But um, yes, yeah, so I just feel like when you talk about personal things that are going on in your life and being authentic and being transparent, even sharing your struggles that is going to get people interested in you. That is going to be your key to getting started. So many people are afraid of things where they feel like that they're not doing good or they're afraid to do. Just start sharing about your experience because somebody else may be going through the same situation and they want to see somebody else do it or they want to be encouraged by somebody else. So just Share your personal milestones, guys. If you're graduating from college, share your experience on graduating from college. If you graduated from college and now you can't find a job or you've been laid off, talk about these things because there are other people in the world experiencing the same things that you are and just need you. So some advice that I have to say to you guys is everybody has something to offer, whether you're 29 years old like me or whether you're 40 plus, you have knowledge and experience that you can come bring to YouTube, you can bring to TikTok, you can bring to Instagram, you can bring to Facebook and share your experience and teach others how to get through something, how to learn something, like how to go through life experiences. You've had so many life experiences that you've gotten through, even though it may felt like it was so hard, but you got through it. And if you share how you got through it, there is someone waiting to hear your story. And the easiest thing that I can say here is like, you have to stop consuming so much content and start creating your content. So if you're a person who's really looking to be a YouTuber, be a content creator, you got to set some limits on your social media and just be like, all right, I can't keep watching people live the life that I want to live all day if I'm not doing anything about it. So if you want your life to look a certain way, start living your life a certain way. If you want to be a content creator, you got to start pumping out that content. If you work a nine to five like me, you need to get up on your lunch break and film your content. So right now it is 12, 12 on my lunch break. I'm filming a video like you have to make sacrifices for things like this. Even yesterday. I mean, not yesterday. It was Sunday. We're here in Dallas. Dallas played Detroit. Um, John went to the game. I could have went to the game, but I stayed home and I filmed content because I want my YouTube channel to be successful. So sometimes you have to sit out on things that you really, you know, may find exciting and have the sacrifice because you're going after something that you actually want. And that takes like stop consuming so much, whether it's anything, whether it's content, whether it's alcohol, whether it's life, like stop consuming everything else and start creating something to make change in your life. Because honestly, there is an audience looking for you and they're not going to be able to find you if you spend all day watching someone else's content instead of creating your own. some of the success that I've had here on my channel. So like I said, I set a goal for this year and that was to become monetized here on my channel. Like I said, I started back in 2018. So I started the year with 368 subscribers. Um, let's just see how many, how many subscribers I've gained within the last year. I'm not going to do the math because I'm just not. So since... This time last year, I've gained 527 subscribers. Like, that is a huge deal. Like, and now I'm literally 
what, 99 subscribers away from hitting 1,000. And all I had to do was kind of just go all in and really believe in myself and give myself a year. It may seem like such a long time, but the year actually went by fairly fast. And it was like, I just wasted so much time like procrastinating, like back, like when I, I've had the channel since 2018, I've had moments and sporadic seasons to where I thought I was posting consistently. I'm like, all right, I posted all month. I posted a video every week this month. Why am I not seeing like this crazy good growth? But every channel has a number of videos to where their channel just starts to take off. Some people's maybe 20 videos. Some people's maybe five videos. Yours may be 200 videos. But the thing is you have to believe in yourself and you have to keep going. Like if it's something that you truly want, you have to literally ride it out until it happens for you. And honestly, I feel like if you have strategic and plans with it, it's a lot easier. But if you're out here just winging it and not actually trying to like look at your analytics and figure out what people like and what people don't like, like that's going to make it harder. But that is what you have to do. Let's just take a look at a few successful videos that have come across my channel. Um, me moving alone to Texas. That video had around like 6,000 views. Um, my video where I talked about losing 45 pounds, that video had around like, I wanna say 5,000 views. And then I actually recently just did a video on losing 56 pounds. And that video right now, I think is sitting at around 3.3 thousand views and I just posted that video last week so like the other videos they took up some time to build up that momentum but like you think about it this video I just posted last week it already has 3,000 views 3,000 may seem like small to some people or comparison to some other channels but if you think about it like this if you have 3,000 people watching you at one moment that's a lot of people honestly if you had 20 people watching you at one moment that's a lot of people so we have to stop getting so caught up in like the the vanity metrics of it all because a view is a view. Like, be appreciative of the people who find your channel and truly enjoy you and take the time to watch your videos. And so I just would say, like, I've had some good hits here on my channel. And these videos that I talk about are all experiences as to where I'm being transparent. Videos where I talk about my weight loss journey, do good. Videos where I talk about my thyroid journey. I had thyroid surgery a few years ago, a cancer scare. Like, those videos do good on my channel. People are still commenting on my thyroid videos from I want to say this had this was like four, three or four years ago. People are talking about how are you feeling now after you had the surgery? Like, did you have to start taking medicine after the surgery? So these are evergreen content videos to where I can always, always, always do updates. And people are always going to find the videos and find the videos informative. So think about, you know, evergreen content opportunities that you can have on your channel. People like videos that are going to be timeless and always educational at some point to where people can kind of look back and still learn something. And I just think that is the best way to approach like YouTube, honestly, approach YouTube as an educational standpoint, approach YouTube as an inspirational standpoint, inspire people, motivate people, educate people, and that'll keep people coming back to your channel. Because honestly, YouTube is owned by Google and it is one of the number one search engines. Like at one point, if I really wanted to know something, YouTube would be, you know, my first search place because Sure, you can look on Google, but if you look on Google, you're going to have to read a whole bunch of pages. But if you go to YouTube, somebody's already talking about it. And same with like platforms like TikTok. They're becoming like search engines. So create searchable content. That is key, honestly, right there. Next, I'm going to give like some of the introverts some advice here because I feel like that was one of the things that actually stopped me from having a channel for a very long time because if I actually started this channel in college, like who knows who I would have been because I've gained so many, like I've gained so many skills throughout the process of just having the channel. But I was scared because I was an introvert. I'm like, I, ha I don't have an outgoing personality. I don't go like shopping. I don't travel too much. Like I don't do parties. Like I don't do all of this extra rah-rah stuff. So why would people want to watch me? What would I like come to YouTube to talk about? But honestly, being an introvert is a superpower. And honestly, most introverts have people that they're comfortable around and they will talk regularly and freely around these people. So when it comes to being an introvert, the camera has to become your best friend. Because guess what? It's me. It's me, the camera, and nobody else is at home. The only thing going right now is my dishwasher, and I hope you guys do not hear that right now. 
you have the space and opportunity to enhance your skills by simply just talking to the camera like the camera needs to be your best friend like even if you're afraid to actually post the video just start talking to your camera if you don't have a camera like me post up your phone and just start having conversations with your phone this will get you confident it will help build your confidence it'll help build your your self-assurance and honestly it will help improve like your speaking skills. I know for me, I say um and like a lot, but I honestly feel like <laughs> I say it less. But even if I don't say it less, I just edit it out the videos. But like me speaking more and more on topics that I'm passionate about and experienced in, it gives me a space to where I have authority over this topic and can position myself as an expert. And honestly, that is going to do nothing but make you, honestly, a better person. It is going to help you build and obtain skills that you can use in other places. And that takes me to my next point. YouTube opens so many opportunities and skills for you to learn throughout the process. Like I said, I'm an introvert. Um, but I learned so many skills throughout, you know, doing this YouTube thing. First things first, I feel like I became a graphic designer overnight. And this isn't just with YouTube. This is just with social media in general. I learned how to make thumbnails. I learned how to make cute graphics that I can put on my community page. I learned how to, you know, make green screens for editing to put in my videos. At this point, I'm a whole video editor. I edit my own videos using, you know, iMovie. also have Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, I don't use it too much, but John does. And it's like... The more and more you use programs, you become proficient in it. And just now, like I have a skill to where I can teach people how to use iMovie. I can teach people how to make green screens for their videos to make, you know, certain graphics and stuff pop up and seem like seamless and things like that. And at this point, like I can write scripts like it is so many skills that you learn throughout this process. And like, these are skills that I can use myself and become an entrepreneur. But at the same time, these are skills that I can take to a nine to five. If I want to become a video editor, I have experience in editing videos. If I want to become a graphic designer, I have experience in creating graphics. I know how to do Canva. I know how to do Adobe. So it's like, these are skills that you learn when you start to pour into yourself. And that happened through having a, a YouTube channel just outside of like actual like skills that you do with your hands there are so many opportunities that come with just being out here and putting yourself out here you give yourself opportunities to coach and mentor outside of the youtube space once you build up your community once people start to find you that opens opportunities and doors for people to reach out to you hey do you want to come speak to this this um body of students i have oh do you want to come be on this panel but you have to put yourself out there even if you're an introvert even if you're an extrovert like even if you just have something to offer the moment you start to put yourself out there you are opening so many doors for yourself you're putting yourself in the vibration you're putting yourself in the space to receive new blessings because you're challenging yourself you're putting yourself out there you're learning new things and people may think like oh being a content creator that's not a big deal that's not a big like job but like it can open so many doors for you. Like I said, it can open your door. It can open doors to nine to five opportunities. It can open doors for you to become an, a better entrepreneur. So like, why not? And just get exposure to yourself. And that helps more people through the knowledge that you have and the knowledge that you know. So like I said prior, whether you're 29 or 40 plus, you have something to offer. I talk to a lot of people on my job. I actually work for an insurance company. And a lot of those people are like 40 plus. And they're like, what could I talk about? What do I know? I'm like, you've been in the in the workforce, what, like 20 years? You know what I mean? Like you have 20 plus years of experience just in the workforce. So if you're a person who knows like training, like if you're a trainer at work, like you know how to train staff on certain things. So you can come on YouTube and teach people how to train their staff. If you're an instructional designer, you can teach people how to get into instructional design. Like there is space and opportunity. If you have the skills and you learn these skills over years of trial and error, you can bring that to YouTube. Shoot, you can bring it to any other platform. You can bring it to your own platform. 
start your own type of like video series, have a website and then use like YouTube and Instagram to funnel people to your website. And it's just going to make you grow. But like you have to actually go for it, actually have to just start and not be like afraid of it, because this is a tool that you can use to just honestly make your life so much better, make way more money. Like, like for me, I make six figures, but there are people out here making six and five figures a month. So it's like, people making 100k a year you can make 100k a month setting yourself up and putting yourself in the right position using the the skills and talents that God has given you I'm just going to give some tips to people who are looking to start a YouTube channel or just create content in general and number one tip is to just stay organized start ahead so if you want to start creating content next month start to plan out your content month Start to plan out your content this month. So be advanced, like start creating your content in advance. Come up with a plan, write scripts, um, sit down and batch out your content. Something that I like to do is days that I work from home, like today's a Tuesday. I usually work from home Tuesday and Wednesday. And when I have a free second, I sit down and film a video. If I can knock out three to four videos within those two days, I have enough content for the month and probably even next month if I'm posting, you know, one video a month. So have set days that you film your content. And then once all your content is filmed, just edit it kind of like day by day and schedule it to post. Like you just have to be strategic about how you manage your time. Like I said, I work a nine to five, but I still have made time this entire year to dedicate to my YouTube channel. And like I said, I've grown over what, 500 plus subscribers just this year from being consistent. And like originally being consistent for me in the beginning was like, okay, two videos a month. Then it moved to like four videos a month. And then it was at a point where I was posting two to three times a week. So it's like, you have to find your groove and something that you can keep up and what makes sense to you. So anywho, this is how YouTube has transformed my life. I'm super excited to see where this journey continues to take me. And hopefully the next time, or hopefully when this video is posted, I'm at 1000 subscribers, but I'm super excited and I want to motivate you guys. Anybody who's out there looking to start their YouTube channel, get their YouTube channel popping, start their YouTube career, start their content creator career, just go for it. There's space and opportunity for everyone. Everyone has something to offer. And honestly, somebody is waiting for your channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.